Hello friends, my name is Akshay and you're watching Devotional Study. Today on Devotional Study, we're going to cover one web page where I'll be showing you how can you share your own web page with uh, people on different social media platforms. So without wasting time, let's get started. So friends, uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel so that you can get new videos I'll be posting on this channel and you can press the bell icon for the upcoming notifications all right so uh, in today's video we are not going to cover the ui part what we are going to cover it will be only the js part and uh for for uh, the the price you know uh the uh, what i have done already i have created a basic template all right where uh, you can see here on the screen this this basic template has uh, a body section and uh, the heading tag and then a division where and in the division i'll be using the unordered list with multiple list items all right so in the list items what we are doing we are we'll be creating four list items where i'll be having facebook sharing url twitter sharing url linkedin sharing url and whatsapps all right so uh, that's how we have created the template i'll quickly show you how uh, the templates look like looks like all right so i'll just quickly uh, open the uh, html page you can see this is the uh, you know basic template that's all what we have all right so uh, here one more thing i need to tell you will we need to attach the jquery we'll be using uh, the unified version of the jquery 3.1 all right and uh, there is one more js file and other than that we have a few basic like css part where i'll be you know uh, using a basic template as i said so uh, you don't need to worry about the code i'll be sharing the code in the description section in the video so you can find out there uh, the github url and you can clone the project all right it will be publicly available so uh, let's let's start with the js part and you can see i have already included the js uh, file in the in the index.html so uh, without wasting time let's let's start uh, coding the file so uh, let's let's do one thing here okay let's create a function uh, where I'll be calling this function as soon as the page gets loaded. All right, I'll call it a share or set share links. All right, okay, this is the function uh, I'll be using. Okay, this function would uh, would be called as soon as you know I am launching the page. All right, so this is the first first function. All right, uh, so let's 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 give the definition of the function here. Okay. Uh, so the function would be set uh, okay uh, share links okay that's that's the function name as you can see on the top all right so what what we'll be we'll we'll cover in this uh, 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 function we we need a page url of our own page url right so we need to create a, a variable uh, we call it page url all right and uh, i'll be using using uh you know this is the encode url component we'll be using the encoded uh url all right so it'll get us the uh, url of the page and how we can get the url of the page we need to use document dot url okay so uh by doing that you can get the url of uh, the page okay you can see here all right so in the next set in the next variable what would be the next variable? because this variable would be enough for uh you know all the all the links but uh specifically for twitter we need we usually tweet right we we tweet uh on or we tweet on the uh, twitter account right so uh we'll be creating a different kind of a url here using uh, the tweet right so uh we we can use uh some kind of, some jquery here okay so uh, these are some properties i'll be using for uh, uh you know the tweet variable okay so this is uh, the attribute what i'll be using let me let me show you okay it's meta uh, and we call it property okay and we'll equal make it equal to og description this is the basic basically the description of 
or uh, a tweet okay this is the description of the tweet and then what we need else uh, other than that we need the attribute okay so for that we have the function in javascript so what we call it uh, and we can use it as a content all right uh, so I'll, I'll just when i'll show you the demonstration you will you'll understand why uh, you know i'm using uh, this uh, this kind of a structure okay so uh, let's let's uh, do one thing here okay let's let's start adding the urls uh, here so we we will use the class name here and uh, we can use um, the on function okay the on method all right so we'll use the class name and what class name uh, we have these are the class names okay so we can use this this class name all right so here okay so we need to use it with dot prefix okay this is the first class name and what we have the second one second one is facebook all right so this is the these are the two classes what we are using right now all right so in the on method uh we'll create uh you know a click event okay so we'll create a click event because we once we click on it we need to get um uh, you know a pop-up kind of a, a thing we are in the pop-up i'll be you know uh using the url for uh which is basically given by facebook and uh, we use it like um, okay url equal to we need to give the url the basic url which will be fixed url okay so https double uh forward slash www dot facebook dot com because every social media page or every social media platform has their own sharing url all right let's let's not forget about that okay so they have their own uh sharing url and uh, uh, so you will find different urls for different platforms so here they they use it like this okay uh, and u equal to now you need to give the page uh, url here what we have added on the top page url link right this is uh, the url which will be append uh, which which gets appended to uh, you know the facebook page so that's how basically uh, it will all be created so we can quickly copy this thing and we can paste it for other four links or oh, sorry other three links what we have right the only difference what you see uh it will be with uh, you know with the uh, uh, with the with the twitter a uh, twitter account or right? the other only the url would be different but if with twitter you we need to use tweet variable alongside okay so here uh i'll use the next would be we have twitter okay we we can use this twitter uh, class and then we have linkedin and we can use linkedin here okay and the last one but not the least so it should be i'm sorry uh, it should be uh, whatsapp okay so here here what we have so for whatsapp the the url is pretty uh, it's it's a bit different actually okay so it's a bit different so uh, with you whatsapp we use a basic a very small url here so it's kind of a very different url so it's wa.me and if you google it you will find it easily all right you don't have to struggle about it you will google it you'll get the url so this is how we use whatsapp's uh, you know url and for uh, linkedin we use www.linkedin.com and then uh, we can use share article parameter and followed by the other parameters so let's let's do that okay so this is where a linkedin url goes okay so here i'll just type linkedin all right dot com okay all right linkedin.com forward slash share article you can google uh, uh these things you'll get it easily all right okay so uh we can use it like this these are this is basically the api kind of a thing you can call it okay for uh for a better understanding so here uh we set it url uh, okay url equal to and then you are appending the page url variable with the link all right so uh with twitter we need to use a different url so with twitter we use it like this uh we call it twitter.com all right 
forward slash intent all right then 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 in this way you can use it intent and then because you can see all the urls are different from one another right so uh, they're very different so you need to use it like this intent and then tweet question mark url as i said with this url we'll be using tweet as well all right so first we need to append the url of the page and then we need to append uh, the tweet so for that you can use the catenation thing again and double quotes okay and then text equals and then you can use your uh, a tweet okay so this is how we uh, we create the sharing links all right this is this is not completed yet so now what we need to do we need to create uh, a social window so what i will be doing when we click on the urls you will get a pop-up kind of a thing and in the pop-up you know uh you can see the facebook's page uh, uh or the the instagrams if you're using instagram or if you're using linkedin or if any social media account you can get the view of that social media account in the pop-up itself so let's let's create the function i'll call it uh social all right uh, social window screen all right that will be uh more readable for uh, for us so we'll pass a url okay and when we are going to call it we are going to call it right after we'll be clicking on the link right as we have uh, the url here so we just need to pass it in this function so i'll just use the function and i'll pass the url what we are getting on the click okay we need to use uh, the same thing for rest of the sharing links okay this is a very basic example and very easy too at the same time all right so um, here we have used it in this way all right so far i think we have no confusion all right we we are not uh we're not getting confused with anything here so let's let's give definition to our social window screen method okay so uh, we need to create a window uh, you know for that we'll be using few properties all right so we can call it a screen a screen object and then with what would be the width of uh, the screen okay um so i'll just use some basic uh, you know screen uh, object properties so this would be the uh, the left side uh, i'll just explain you let me let me complete the code uh, here first so this is left and here this is the width okay what would be whatever would be the screen's width we'll minus it by 570 pixels and then we'll divide it by two all right that's that's from the left hand side of the page all right do remember this uh this that will be from the left hand side of the page and uh then we we can we can you know uh use it uh from the top two all right we'll create a variable and uh this will get the height screen dot height whatever would be the height okay uh, of the page screens height for uh, obvious reasons okay and then we'll divide it by two again okay i'll just let you know how we'll we'll try to you know uh, change few things as well and then we'll create one more variable called params and uh, equal to so we have few properties in the parameter params like a menu bar if you want a menu bar we we will call it no if you want a toolbar status is you know there are multiple uh, multiple things you can you can use all right so let's let's use it one by one so we'll call it menu bar equal to no then toolbar we we'll call it no you can change these uh, urls uh, uh, you know parameters for for understanding what is happening so we'll call it no here with status as well all right and the rest of the information would be like uh, height or width all right we will give the uh, height of uh, uh, or width of the uh, pop-up you can call it 570 and then 
height we'll we'll quickly you know uh, we'll change these uh, uh, values and we'll uh, make you guys understand how exactly it's going to happen so from the top it would be uh, so basically this is the width of uh, uh, the pop up or the height of the pop up and then from the top how much do you want so as we have already calculated so this is from the top okay and similarly this uh, would be appended with the with the left uh, parameter too all right i'll just quickly add the left parameter all right so left equal to here plus left all right so this is how we have created the params all right the last thing what we need to do we need to open the window right every time you will be clicking the window gets open the pop-ups uh, window gets open so we'll use window object dot open and we will quickly go to the url here all right what will be getting from uh, the click okay the url of our page all right and it will be redirected uh, to that particular social media and it will be a new window so we'll use this parameter as new window comma params all right that's how we we, we use uh, uh, this social media thing all right so this is how we create social media let's let's test it out and we'll uh, find out what happens it should open a pop up uh, but okay right now it's not opening uh, so let's check it out what is uh, what is wrong uh, you are in going component is ATTR is not a function okay so here we are getting the issue oh, all right we haven't we, we closed it uh, uh, wrongly it should not close like this should be closed within the braces all right let's let's reload the page and see what happens okay so when we reload it again all right we are getting the pop-up so you can see uh, hrf uh, uh, should represent a valid url so why is that right now you can see it's not a valid url right so uh, if for for instance if i go ahead and you know if i change this url from i'll just remove it from here and i'll add it uh, like any 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 uh, you know uh, random url you can give so i'll give uh, the url for my from my own website uh, so I'll just quickly go back to the page and reload it so instead uh, in the Facebook you can see it's asking me to you know enter the login details all right let me log in uh, let me sign up and uh, uh, let's check what happens so I have logged in uh, to my Facebook account let's let's click on it again let's see what happens uh, so as soon as I click on it, you can see it's my, uh, you know, a Facebook uh, a page uh, and it shows uh, where do you want to share this URL. So you can see calibergaming.in. So for instance, if you have any other page, uh, you know, for example, like forward slash, uh, if there is any other page you want to share it, right? So you can quickly, uh, you know, you can use that URL here. So uh, when you do that, so it will open that page itself and you'll be able to share a specific page. Or for instance, if you have any specific blog column or blog page you want to share, you can do that too, right? So uh, that's how you can uh, manipulate things. And for WhatsApp, if you click on share on WhatsApp, it will open up like this. You can see it It can, if I have the application installed on my uh, machine. That's the reason it says open WhatsApp. So you can directly redirect you to the WhatsApp application and it will share this specific URL, right? So uh, that's how this share thing would work. And uh, I hope you you have liked the video and don't don't worry about the code I'll share the code in the description itself so you will not be having any issues all right so I hope you like the video and if you do like the video please uh, share like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries or if you want any specific topic uh, uh, to be covered uh, and if you want me to cover it please do let me know in the comments uh, comment section i will surely try to uh, you know cover that particular video or tutorial all right or any topic if you want me to do all right so uh, till then i'll see you in the next tutorial guys uh, till then bye bye have a great day